please rise. Holy, holy, holy. In the name of the Father, into the Son, into the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us prepare our hearts to enter the sacred mysteries by recalling to mind our sins, asking the Lord for pardon. Lord Jesus, you are sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who govern all things, both in heaven and on earth, Mercifully hear the pleading of your people and bestow your peace on our times. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, now our high priest has obtained so much more excellent a ministry as he is mediator of a better covenant and acted on better promises. For if the first covenant had been faultless, no place would have been sought for a second one. But he finds fault with them and says, Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, when I will conclude a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah. It will not be like the covenant I made with their fathers, the day I took them by the hand to lead them forth from the land of Egypt. For they did not stand by my covenant, and I ignored them, says the Lord. But this is the covenant I will establish with the house of Israel after those days, says the Lord. I will put my laws in their minds, and I will write them upon their hearts. I will be their God, and they shall be my people. And they shall not teach each one his fellow citizen and kin, saying, Know the Lord, for all shall know me, from least to greatest. For I will forgive their evil doing, and remember their sins no more. When he speaks of a new covenant, he declares the first one obsolete. And what has become obsolete and has grown old is close to disappearing. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm, kindness and truth shall meet. Kindness, kindness and truth shall meet. Show us, O Lord, your mercy and grant us your salvation. Near indeed is his salvation to those who fear him, 
glory dwelling in our land. Kindness and truth shall meet. Kindness and truth shall meet. Justice and peace shall kiss. Truth shall spring out of the earth, and justice shall look down from heaven. Kindness and truth shall meet. The Lord himself will give his benefits. Our land shall yield its increase. Justice shall walk before him, and salvation along the way of his steps. Kindness and truth shall meet. Alleluia. 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 God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus went up the mountain and summoned those whom he wanted, and they came to him. He appointed twelve, whom he also named apostles that they might be with him, and he might send them forth to preach and to have authority to drive out demons. He appointed the twelve, Simon, whom he named Peter, James, son of Zebedee, and John, the brother of James, whom he, no he named Boanerges, that is, sons of thunder. Andrew, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, the son of Alphaeus, Thaddeus, Simon the Cananean, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So in today's gospel, we hear Jesus summoned those whom he wanted, and they became the 12 apostles. Jesus wanted these 12 to be his followers. Even Judas Iscariot, who betrayed him. It highlights to me that Jesus loves and desires sinners to be with him. He wanted Judas Iscariot to do good. He loved him. And yet, we know with free will, Judas would end up betraying him. Therefore, let us never give up on those who are sinners and have turned away from God, which we know that part of us are part of that company. But through our prayers, our witness, may we know that they may very well help those who have turned against God, those that do want, in a way, betray him, that they will go back to him. For you know this is God's desire we know this is Jesus' desire, for he loves them very much. Trusting in God's love for his people, let us lift up to the Lord these our prayers.
for the church, inspired by the words of the Baptist who points us to Jesus, that we may become better disciples by doing all that God asks of us. Let us pray to the Lord. For our country, that God will heal the divisions and animosity that exist. Help leaders to work together to address the issues of those who are suffering and help us to better listen to one another. Let us pray to the Lord. For an end to violence in families, amongst neighbors, and in our city streets, that God will turn hearts from violence and help all people to work together to build the city of God. Let us pray to the Lord. For greater respect for human life, that the Spirit will open hearts to the value and beauty of all human life and free society from abortion and euthanasia. Let us pray to the Lord. For students as they begin a new semester, that God will inspire them in making good decisions and being dedicated to their studies so that they can enrich the human community. Let us pray to the Lord. For all those who are sick, who are dying, who have died, and for the names written in the St. Jude Book of Intentions, let us pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. And for the repose of the soul of Terry Long, for whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Almighty God, we ask that through our prayers we may help our brothers and sisters to see you as the way, the truth, and the life. Strengthen us through our prayers. We lift up to you this day. We ask them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. For the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries. For whenever the memorial of the sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him. Through Christ our Lord, 
Through him, the angels praise your majesty. Dominions, adorer, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Son in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we br make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have felt us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that Partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Edward, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen.
At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Pour on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness make those you have nourished by this one heavenly bread, one in mind and heart, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord, by your life. Thanks be to God. Emmanuel.